big, big shout out to Ireland, man. Wow, this is this is a really cool story that I had to talk about. I am shocked right now. Um, <laughs> this is what this article reads. It says, Irish Parliament passes bill to ban Israeli settlement goods. Now, of course, this is referring to goods um, and dealing with the illegal Israeli settlements that they continue to expand despite it being in violation of international law and being illegal and the occupation that they are doing um, in the West Bank. So here is what this article says. It's a bill to outlaw trade in goods from Israeli settlements has been passed by the lower house of Ireland's parliament, a major step on, uh, on his journey into law. On Thursday, I don't know how to say this, is the Dale Dail, I don't know, overwhelmingly approved the Occupied Territories Bill by a vote of 78 to 45, dealing a big defeat to the government of Leo Varadkar, the Irish Prime Minister. Says Francis Black, the independent senator who initiated the legislation last year, greeted the result as amazing, adding that Ireland will always stand up for international law and human rights, and we are one step closer to making history. So, my understanding is, here's what it says, says, in December, the upper house gave its final approval to the bill, making uh, the Senate, I don't even know what that is, the first house of parliament in the world to pass legislation banning the import of goods from Israeli settlements um, in occupied territory, which are illegal under international law. Uh, So, what it looks like is, it's just, I guess it's got to go through one more place. It says Thursday vote is not final. However, the bill must still go to committee and further debate before it can be voted on to the statute books. So this is a huge step. I'm really excited. I think that this is a really good move. If if anybody, any nation, by the way, cared about, uh, <laughs> actually cared and gave a shit about human rights, international law, and just basic morality and decency, they would pass this because Israel is brutalizing Palestine right now and they are m- making illegal settlements. These settlements are illegal under international law. So it's like, it's a no-brainer to do this. And big shout-out to Ireland, man. Did not expect this from Ireland, but big ups to you guys. You guys have, a, you know, just genius, I guess, at this point. 